You see in that montage at the beginning of this episode, as the months go by, Jimmy and Kim were living separate lives. It's almost like they don't need each other anymore. I really love the way that montage replicates the experience of real life. The distance that's coming between them in the 10 months is very natural and normal. There's parts of her life that she's keeping separate, and Jimmy certainly is starting to have a separate life. You know, the luster wears off. It's quite sad. It was a sad episode for me. I think a couple of things are going on with them that cause this division. She is doing this pro bono work down at the courthouse, and she hasn't been open with him about it. And he's selling drop phones on the street, and he hasn't been open with her about it. A line of secrecy, in a way, builds between them. That line becomes wider and wider as the months pass. <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna love you. It's the first time that Kim has let anybody know that she's in a relationship. And here she is presenting him as her boyfriend in her new office. Yeah, hi, <laughs> hey, this is Jimmy McGill. <laughs> she is enjoying his sort of particular way that he's charming the crowd. Oh, okay, whoa, well, well, here it is. This is for us, Debbie, one for you. Jimmy starts to engage with Kim and the other partners about where they might want to go for their office retreat. Where are we going? <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> Employees only. Oh, darn it. And as Schweikart reacts to his suggestions, Jimmy becomes increasingly competitive. You know where the great skiing is? Well, it's Telluride. They see all of you out there cutting the powder and you're matching Schweikart and Coakley parkas. Well, that's the big fracture there with him talking to Schweikart. What's that I hear? I'm a private charter Jed. He resents the guy. He resents the status that they have at that office. And he really resents that Rich is closer to Kim in some ways. Jimmy sees his dream of having an office together getting further and further away. If you were a lawyer, this would be a great place, right? If I was a lawyer, no. As he and Kim are drifting apart, Jimmy has spent more time with Huell than anybody else. I think he becomes quietly and understandably attached to this guy. So when Huell gets in trouble, Jimmy, of course, feels a sense of responsibility. Why don't you give me a shot at this? I, I think I can fix it. Yeah. When he comes to Kim and asks for help with Huell, it's both risky and it's an opportunity. Obviously, she could shut him down, but really, more than anything, let's just do something together. Viola, can you give me case material for Penal Code 3422? Helping his friend does not sound like something Kim would want to be involved with, but she cannot help herself. The injustice is real that's been done to Huell. Esta persona está contenta? Muy bien. Gus wanted to see Hector get better, just better enough, though, so that he could suffer. You've done magnificent work. His recovery has been remarkable. To bring in this specialist and then to see him press pause on Hector's improvement, it's so cruel. Hector's progress is very promising. Perhaps we should temper our expectations. Gus will be the one to manage and to control the life and death of his lifelong enemy. It's almost like he would lose his sense of who he is if he was not able to regain control of this guy's demise.